Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but um, you know life happens, and um, this girl is included in that, so I will try to be more consistent with you guys and um, get a semi-schedule together for the readings. As I was pre-shuffling before I actually turned on the camera, I, I just feel like there's not only conflict within you, but there's conflict with someone else. Okay, it could definitely be uh, somebody that has uh, Leo energy, Cancer energy even. I feel like there's like um, varying points of view. you and someone else it could be several people as well that's involved in this and and you feel like these people are only looking out for themselves or this person is only looking out for themselves what's going on around my Libras eight of swords there's some things that you just cannot get over something's really bothering you and it's, it's relating to like past issues. It's like a culmination of things. This is Gemini energy here. Feeling trapped in your own thoughts. Who's crossing Libras? The world. To evolve. To let go of some things. To take what's going on or what has happened. And actually put those to work for you. And learn from that. So you can move forward and start over. You know, the world is the end of the tarot. So it's time for you to put some things to bed. So you can have a fresh new start. This is definitely Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio energy here. Release yourself. From anything that's not serving you, you know. What is the underlying issue here? For Libras. The sign. Another Leo energy. Leo card rather. Being aware. Being enlightened. I feel like. You know. For some of you. Your ego is getting in the way. Sometimes you just have to let people have their own shit. And just be like. You know what. I give up. <laughs> I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to argue with you. It is what it is. And you unpack your shit with them. And then you move on. You know. Your happiness. Is the underlying issue here. You guys are not happy. With the situation at hand. What was going on in the recent past for Libras? Six of Wands, you felt like everything was good. You know, you were being recognized, you were being acknowledged, um, you felt attractive, you felt like things were going pretty well. There's a strong Leo energy in your reading. I feel like somebody came in and made you almost like they had a mask on, you feel. And they made you feel exactly what they wanted to. Almost like they knew what they were doing. And you almost are angry at yourself that you didn't see this shit coming. That you didn't see it for what it was. <clears throat> what is the crowning thoughts for Libra? Star. Aquarius energy. You want to get over this. You want to heal. You want to be happy. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys are ready to find that soulmate, that person that you're supposed to be with for this lifetime. You still have hope that things can turn around. Some of you feel like this person was the one or still is the one. But arguments and disagreements and not and, and butting heads, that's gotten in the way. So 
Some of you still want this person. This person's attractive. I feel like they came in and they, they did everything that they thought you wanted them to do. What's coming in for my Libras? Ace of Wands. There's that new start. There's that new start. And realizing that it is what it is here. Becoming aware. Becoming enlightened about the situation and other situations in your past. And knowing that you can't control everything and you can't make people do the right thing or do right by you. You're able to like release yourself from this Eight of Swords energy and let that shit go. Okay? Because it's time for you to move on and start your life. Okay? <clears throat> How is Libra viewing this situation? I feel like you guys will meet someone else. And I feel like there's somebody that's like right in front of you that you probably have not paid attention to or that you have not um, taken seriously. Because maybe you felt like they just wanted um, a, a sexual relationship with you. How is Libra reviewing this situation? The full, you're starting over. This is that Aries energy. This is opposite of your sign. This is what you're doing. Leaving the shit behind. Realizing what you know. Acknowledging what you know to be true. Not how you want it to be. And not how you've seen it, but how it is. Okay? And you are moving on. It's like, fuck that shit. You know, I know what I know. And I know what's right before my eyes. I cannot try to make this situation be something that it's not. And you're not taking that baggage with you. See, the fool has very little that he's traveling with. Okay? What is the influence here for Libras? Two of Swords. That's you. This is you. Not wanting to see things. Not wanting to see, not wanting to make a decision. Refusing to make a decision. Refusing to make a decision. Think about that. Because Sometimes we do, you know, see things like through rose-colored lenses. Or we see things the way that we want to see them. And sometimes we have to um, acknowledge that whatever our part is in this. In a situation. If somebody is doing something towards us, they don't have the control to be able to do that. They really don't. But sometimes it's hard for us to stop them from doing that because they don't have the control to do that. Because we can we can cut that shit out, right? This is what you've been doing. Refusing to see, refusing to make a decision about this situation with this person. But I see you getting to a point that new starts right there. That new star is right there. It's right in the middle of the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, which is a Ten of Swords. It's right around the corner for you to put these these um, these thoughts to bed. To end this. To end the ruminating thoughts. Don't blame yourself. Do not blame yourself. But do not allow someone to do this to you, you know. That's what it's about. Making making decisions for you. 
Hopes and fears for Libra. Queen of Wands, that fiery energy. Your hope is to be able to move forward, to be attractive, to be attracted to other people and have them be attracted to you. To find someone else. For some of you, I'm feeling like you're thinking that this is the end for you. Like as far as a relationship is concerned, as far as like somebody being attracted to you, that is so not the case. <laughs> so not the case. I'm sorry that sun is coming through that window right there. Huh. I like the way it's coming through though. It's shining a light on something here. Let's see. What's the overall outcome for Libras? Seven of Wands. That Leo energy is Leo Aries energy. I, I see you being very defensive and I see you... Um, not letting anything get in your way. I do feel like there's somebody here that it is like they're fighting against themselves. They're trying to prove a point to you, but that point is going to be null and void when you walk the hell out their life. That's the thing. And I see you doing that. I see you doing that. But it's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Because you don't know whether to give up on someone or try. But I, I see, you know, what's coming for you is that you will get to a point where regardless if somebody else thinks it's right, you're going to do what's right for you. And if that's moving on to being single from this person, so be it. Because you have a lot of responsibilities. I'm seeing it. You take care of people. You defend people. You try to do the right thing. But I think a lot of you are having a hard time letting go because you're feeling like um, you should have seen something sooner. Or something like that. Strong Leo in your reading. Um... Aries is here, Aquarius, Gemini, and um, in the world, which is a, a major, major uh, occurrence in your life right now, is, is trying to get you to wrap something up so you can start over the way you need to start over, okay? Let me go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You see that? You're being nudged to wrap something up. So you can't have a new start. Because love, the look, kind of love that you're looking for is, is out there. It's here. Don't hold yourself back. Okay, guys? So that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.